Hi guys and welcome to my review of Saturday Morning RPG. So this game is, uh, the genre is RPG. Uh, the developer is Mighty Rabbit Studios. Um, and I am playing the Steam version, but there is also an iOS version. Um, currently it's $7 on Steam. And I'm just gonna start a new game. I've played a little bit, so I, I know how the game works. So as you might guess uh, from the title, uh, there's a lot of references to this culture of Saturday morning um, cartoons. Like the only reference I'm getting here is that uh, this guy Marty, I think of Marty McFly, but um, unfortunately a lot of the nostalgia is missed, uh, I miss it because I was born in the 90s and a lot of these references are to 80s cartoons, so uh, keep that in mind. So the gameplay is um, turn-based, um, and you have to time your attacks and time your defenses, and um, right now I'm not doing any damage to this guy. <laughs> That's okay, it's part of the story. Oh, one shot. And the music on this game is really good too. Um, that's one of the things I like about it. So it looks like this guy that's wearing a power glove is giving me magic abilities now. And that, what you just saw was a mechanic where you do scratch and sniff stickers and then they give you special abilities, like special stats. So here's the different abilities you can do. Probably my favorite so far is this one. Check it out. Oh, you gotta press press uh, the button right when um, you're defending. <laughs> See, I do like a, a Michael Jackson magic glove kind of move. And my second favorite is probably this CD throwing one. So the fun of the game, um, for me, comes from the fast-paced combat and the, um, the goofy humor. So 
so you just spam button press to strengthen your next move in this with the battery. So then once I've charged up a 2.8, now I'm going to use my CD. Oh. And hopefully I did extra damage there. And now I'm going to do a Michael Jackson slap on him. Boom! <laughs> That says, uh, Power Glove. The Power Glove, it's so bad. <laughs> and that, that's basically the gameplay. Um, I mean, there's also this element, uh, element of adventuring. See, I can go over here. And I met this guy that wants me to collect a bunch of, um, monsters or something. Talk to him and find out. Gurgle Tail. Yeah, he wants me to collect jerks, like... <laughs> Alright, once we got five jerks, we're coming back. Yeah, we're probably not gonna play that long, but... Just continue along, maybe do a couple more fights, and I'll wrap this up. And so far, I've only played up to like. Well, I finished the first level, um, but I really don't have that much uh, motivation to continue playing. Like, I, I got my fill of it from just the first level. Of course, that's a personal preference thing, if you enjoy this kind of gameplay, then by all means, continue. But for me, this game, I, I give a 6 out of 10. And that's not because the game isn't good. Uh, it's mostly a personal preference thing. Um, I don't really think that the gameplay is that interesting. And also, to be honest, a lot of the nostalgia is lost on me because I was born in the 90s again, and the references are to 80s stuff. So while I find some of it kind of funny, and I know a few references, much of it is lost on me. Alright, so this will be the last fight, and then I'll quit. A Michael Jackson move on. <laughs> if you didn't notice, this move has a chance to paralyze, but it's not a guaranteed. Got him. Throw my basketball at this guy, make him burn. And as the game progresses, you you hit harder and harder enemies. There you encounter some of these lizard dudes which shoot poison at you. Yeah, it just it got really difficult um, at the end of the first level, um, and I wasn't really enjoying the game that much. So again, there's little motivation to continue. I'm gonna try and punch him. He got burn damage, haha. <laughs> oh! <yeah. laughs> That's a good way to end it. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the main menu. Let's see, how do I... So you go. 
main menu. So there's also these other modes. Um, I've tried these other modes. The endless is kind of like um, an arcade mode where you just keep on fighting and you have a, a limited amount of each ability. So let's say you start with three of those CD throwing moves. Well, then you use one on the first fight. You can't. You only have two on the next. That's how it works. Um, the arena is kind of like. Um, setting yourself up against some really difficult opponents. And that's that's the gist of the game. Um, so if you guys noticed any references uh, then leave them in the comments. I, I, I don't even I didn't notice very much like I got the the Power Glove one and the Marty McFly one and I mean I know about some of them like I saw there's a Care Bear move you can get where it shoots a rainbow but um, I, I still wasn't like in that uh, generation. So uh, thanks for watching, and again, uh, this you can get this game through the Indie Gala Rise of Flight bundle until March 12th. However, after that, you can still buy it on Steam for seven dollars. Thanks for watching.